I still think the toes look really weird and really long. Like there's actually, it's, it's really unsettling to look at. It's, it's really, really weird how long his toes are. Do you remember when they changed Sim so the Sim had a movable shield? Yeah. That shield was worthless. <laughs> it, was n it wasn't even an ability. It was a complete waste of time for everybody and Sims were sad. And I feel like it's not the same case because you can stop it. So now it's more useful. It's not just flying off in the distance. It's bigger, which is also more useful. So it's an upgraded version of that Sim shield. I, I can see using your shield to block off Widow Sight Lines being like good. But at the same time, like once you do that, then you kind of open up your, the rest of your team to like shields as well. Unless you're doing like a back and forth kind of thing, like psh, take it back and then, psh, and then another one out there. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can definitely see that being, that, that's why I think he is like good to some degree sure. is because you can just take that shield down instantly and then have it back up at the same HP right. it was like near instantly. But Overwatch is a game that has three dimensions, not two dimensions. A flat shield is a flat shield. It's not protecting you for anything. If you had a Risha shield that was falling down, suddenly that's a lot bigger of a deal. Yeah. It's protecting the sides, you know. The, you can't just angle around. Yeah, you can't just walk to the side a little bit. Just a little bit. You just it's just a little bit that you have to go. It's it's that flat issue that I really think stops you from being as useful. Because a Rhine shield, you spin it, you know, you can you can aim it wherever you want. Yeah. It's instantaneous, it changes, it's like Diva Matrix where it's just like you put it where you want it, and it's useful because it does that. Yeah. Flat shields are only useful when they're things like a Rissa shield, where they're, they're these like super powerful, replenishable shields that are just there. Yeah. You choose that area, you choose a corner, it protects the corner, because it is it's a curve, it protects that corner. So an Arissa could literally just put himself in a little corner on some like, um, I don't know, Volskaya map, and just like right. be there and be almost invincible unless you can somehow walk inside the shield, which a lot of characters actually can't. Like Diva literally cannot do any damage to them. Right. But I don't see Sigma being able to do any of that with his shield. I think he's really limited to, you know, making a little sardine can like Bastion set up. Mm -hmm. um, he can wall off just like an extra area, like an extra door, mm -hmm. and just have that as like more shielded area because you know, it doesn't protect much from shield break because it breaks faster than a Rhine Shield, and Rhine Shield already did break pretty fast. May you the positive outcome. We must hurry. I think the bigger thing is the knockback of it. I mean, the CC definitely is nice, but I think that, like the further the further the further away you know you throw the rock, the harder it is to follow up on that CC. So mm -hmm. I think while like the the boop aspect is going to be a lot better, but I do like that it's a skill shot and that you actually have to know how to use it to be effective with it. So I think that's a good thing. It cancels like well, the animation cancels with left click and. You can, the stun usually lasts long enough to get a left to the after. So getting a stun and a squishy is almost always a kill, mm. depending on the range and depending on how accurate you are. I like uh, stone's easy stone skill, yeah, mm -hmm. throw mm -hmm. the stone. But if he get more like diva or Winston is a jump skill, get, mm -hmm. that he, he can use that the dive combo two to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Winston and diva is most uh, fast here or the tank play, tank. Yeah, so Sigma get like a jump skill or yeah, he's very cool, I think. Matrix has a much shorter cooldown, you can use it longer, you can save your teammates with it, but all that like kind of grasp is really only for Sigma himself. Like mm. it's kinda hard to save teammates with it. Um and people like people come are complaining there's you know people saying that it could eat grav and that's overpowered over but i think it's like really hard to like do stuff like that with his with his ability because it's, it's everything's so small it has a 13 second cooldown like it's i don't know I, I think it's good for him as a as a tank but i don't think it's like overpowered or anything i just really don't see him getting that much value compared to like a diva magic where you just could move it everywhere instantly as long as you can aim at something you can matrix it yeah um so it just has a lot more use and it feels a lot better to use i'd say than a shift like ability does because it feels like it feels like Arissa's fortify but then instead of like reducing damage it just like deletes all the damage you're like oh yeah that'd be better right instead of taking 50 percent you're taking zero percent but it doesn't last that long right if blizzard uh make Sigma shift, uh, like a like a diva matrix chart on off mode. Mm. I'll be better, yeah. That's mm. better, I think.
What is that melody? From what I've seen, I think it's the strongest part of his kit by far. Like, it's, it's really good, but I think it does take a long time to charge because like I said, his primary fire is really slow and it does do decent damage. But, so you, you have the rock throw and his primary fire, which is like, I mean, it's pretty good damage, but it, it does take a decent bit to charge, which I, which I think is good because, I mean, you can combo with so many ults. You can combo with Deadeye, Diva Bomb, Mayol, Hammond ult, like, I, I think it'll be such a good ult. And it does percentage damage as well, which I think is ridiculous. So I, you'll see a lot of cool stuff with it. And so his ult, um, I think that like, that's probably also a benefit of him is that his ult seems like pretty solid. Like it, it does like a big circle and it can toss up and you can fly around and have some mobility. That was like the plus side is that the mobility when you're using the ult is really good. Um, but also I guess it's slower than Valkyrie, you know, and there's a chance you get headshot or something like that by Widow. Um, but at the same time, you know, that's like a big part of his kit that's good is that he can fly around, still create a massive circle of CC and do a pretty good amount of damage at the same time. So I think like all that combined makes his ult pretty solid. So, High Noon does a lot of damage. It's hard to use, it rarely gets any kills, even though it does a ton of damage. Because you have to stand still and you're really slow. Well, not stand still, but you're really slow when you use it. So Sigma gets to fly, which is cool, but he's still really slow when he's flying. He still dies to a headshot and just a half charged or a third charged headshot from a Widow while he's flying really slow. Valk Mercies are really hard to hit, but they still have to be careful of Widow shooting them. Sigma, I feel like even while he's ulting, they still have potential to be shut down just by like a Discord damage boost Widow shot or like Hanzo. Hanzo can hit it, but it's a lot harder. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like alts where you're that limited in movement. So I think you could do it behind shield, but you would, you couldn't really fly up or something. Um, I think the ult itself is really cool because it's max health or what is it, percentage health damage, mm -hmm. which is something rare that we haven't seen in Overwatch yet. And I think that would have been insanely useful against goats. Um, <laughs> so maybe this character could have been early earlier put in. You know, then you could have some cool bunker comps that like. You know, do max health damage, and you just because they have to stay grouped, so you slam them. Or if they're not grouped, you know, you got a ton of potential. Uh, because I'm a tank player, so <laughs> I, I like uh, yeah, I like Sigma's ult, and then Sigma's ult uh, because uh, if Sigma's ult don't have damage, just CC, they can use with Diva Bomb or Shatter some so many ult, so many ult. So Sigma's I like CC, not uh, not even damage, but I like CC though. I have harnessed the harness. Uh, I mean, as a character, I think the design and lore is probably like the coolest there is so far, at least from what we know. So I think that's you know, like from a creative standpoint, it looks pretty cool. But but like what I've seen of him and what I'm hearing around like the general OWL scene is that just like Sigma doesn't really have a place right now simply because like he doesn't have much mobility and then his shield isn't like that valuable compared like the rest of his kit is like not um really helpful to your team i guess as a whole mm -hmm. like it's like his shield is all right and that's like probably the saving grace of him is because his shield is like kind of different and like you can use it and save people i guess with it yeah. but besides that it's like he doesn't have mobility he's kind of big and slow so there's like there's a lot that like a lot of people don't think that he'll take the place of anybody. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't really have CC reduction, which is tough. Like you have to what, purely rely on your shift, which is like a 15 second cooldown, and it's just like a worse version of Diva Matrix. It's like when Diva Matrix was still bound to your E and you got four seconds of it. It's like that kind of level of not good, in my mm -hmm. opinion. He seems like he was designed that like as a tank that can deal with like a variety of comps and situations because he has like his shield that he can always move and then like, call back whenever so like he can shield a Farah, a widow a bunker you know whatever he needs to do and then he has his like absorption which can like you know take in spam from bunker comps so i think they they made him with the intent of trying to be like a well-rounded tank you know just i still just i can't see him replacing <laughs> anything in the, in the current comps like, sure like you look at like the bunker comps that are popular now and then You've got him. Where do you put him in? You can only put him in one of the tank roles because you can no longer do those, you know, triple setups uh, for anything. You can't use him as a solo tank. You probably can't use him as a main tank because his shield 
is like pathetic and only shields himself. Um, so I think the last roll left would be as an off tank, but I don't think he peels well. Um, he, well, he peels decently. Like, if you stand on top of your supports and you press shift the second that they come in, it'll be useful. Your rock will like decimate a Genji that comes in, like they're, they're not getting anywhere near you with that. Yeah. But a Doomfist walks in and he doesn't he doesn't care what projectiles you're eating. His yeah. entire body is a projectile, he's gonna smash into your supports. I think Sigma play have Sigma must play with Orisa or some like slow heroes and but I say Sigma is so fun and Sigma is good to other not player, other gamers. Mm -hmm. Just home gamer. Yeah. So I like Sigma though and he is very good. Excellent. Yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of a big lore guy myself. So in the lore sense, I mean, it kind of makes sense. He was like busted out of a facility. I don't know if it was a mental facility, if he was kidnapped. I don't know what was going on there entirely. But I mean, it fits with his character, so. Personally, I'm a I'm really hard anti-foot fetish guy, so. <laughs> so, feet gross me out, man. Feet and like fingers or something like that. Something about it like just grosses me out, man, so. But like, to be honest with Sigma, it's like, I kind of understand why he's Role wise, does it like there's there, I think the lore works along with it because like he was just what broken out of jail or something like that. Uh, an asylum, I think. Yeah, and like hospital. exactly. And if a dude's floating, you don't need shoes on him or something like that. And then on top of that, they probably like let's get this guy in combat ready stuff as quick as possible. If he loses, if his if his foot gets shot off, it doesn't matter. He floats, right? You know, I mean, if it's comfortable, I guess. Like I don't think Zenyatta Zenyatta wears shoes or socks, but I mean, he's also a robot. Yeah. Something floating people have in common. And now, a message from our sponsors. Introducing Insights, an all-in-one platform to elevate your team performance. Simply play, review, and strategize, all in real time. See why the pros use Insights to organize and review their gameplay. Get your free account today.